this is the perfect time to be talking about what happened in February. I always like to wait till all of the stats come out before I do these videos. So we're going to dive right in and let you know what's going on. Because believe me when I tell you what is going on is uh, it's just stronger than I expected. Uh, just that it's amazing how these markets just... Uh, can keep going in directions that uh, you never think possible. So let's just dive right in and look at some of these uh, some of these charts and some of these stats. All right, so let's just take a look at where we came from. February of 23, we did 1,738 sales on our MLS right here. This past February, we did 2,135. So that is a 22% or almost 23% increase in uh in a in, in february of 23 which is really remarkable considering that february is typically not a really really strong month but uh but it is the very very early stages of the spring market what's interesting is uh we saw an increase of inventory new listings 2700 compared to 2386 a year ago which is good from that perspective Although the inventory still remains down at 2,355. And I have to tell you, that is extremely low when you consider that we're a city of 1.5 million people. To only have 2,300 uh, listings on the market, this is not a good thing. We need a lot more inventory than that. And believe me, if we don't start to see more inventory hit the market, uh, with the kind of demand that we're seeing, well, obviously the prices can only go in one direction and that's up. 1.1 month supply of inventory, which means it would literally only take, you know, just over a month to sell all the properties we have listed if no, if no new properties came on the market at the pace that we're going. Um, then if you look at the sales to list price, I mean, 101.02% on average, that's remarkable. So that this tells you that we, because the inventory is so tight, we're seeing multiple offers on a lot of properties to the point where averaging it out, um, most of them sold for slightly above the ask price. And that's also quite remarkable. It says days on market 24, but again, consider if there are conditions on a contract, they don't mark it uh, in, in this stat here until all the conditions are removed. That being said, we're seeing a lot of offers come on the market that have no conditions. I sold a property last week that was listed for $500,000. We had nine offers in one day and eight of the nine of them had no conditions on the contract. Very, very interesting. And the prices were all over the ask price. Every single offer was over the ask price, which is just, again, quite incredible. Anyway, so our benchmark price, we hit $585,000. That includes condominium, by the way. So that is a 10% increase uh, from February of 23, which really is quite remarkable. That's a really strong market. Now, if we come down here to this chart, one of my favorite charts, you can see that um, the blue is the month of supply of inventory. And you can see right now, um, we're hovering amongst the lowest we've ever seen. I mean, it was um, early 22 was the lowest inventories we've seen all the way back to 2009. And, and we had some low inventory in 2009. So um, you can see that all the way from the early 22, uh, late 21, We've really had an inventory problem and um, and I'm hoping that we're going to see more people put their properties on the market, but uh, that's definitely a really concern. And um, and you can see our, our benchmark price is um, you can see how, you know, it, uh, you know, it, it dropped off a little bit, which it, which it does in late 22 and or sorry, 23 when, um, you know, into the fall market and whatnot. But now we're we're back up at this uh, this 10 percent level for uh, for price increases. And um, and I can tell you something, if um, if this continues the way we're going with this tight inventory and we don't see enough to supply the demand, um, I would not be at all surprised if we see our benchmark price rise by 15% in 2024. That's, uh, that's really how it's looking right now. 
Okay, so let's take a look at um, our, uh, our, our lovely charts here that help us get a little bit better understanding of um, just um, the, you know, the, the market in itself when we break it down to uh, the type of product. So what we're looking at right now are detached homes. And you can see in February, wow, 90% of the detached homes listed in Calgary sold. And um, that's remarkable. We, um, we've never seen that kind of a percentage before on detached homes. And what it did is it brought the benchmark price up to 721300 just for detached homes. So that is obviously a new record for Calgary. And you can see that's a 2.72% increase in month over month. And that is a 13.18% increase from February of last year. And um, in year to date, um, when we factor in both January and February, that would be a benchmark price of 711. So that's 721 just for the month of February, but we are sitting at 711 year to date. And that is obviously a record as well for Calgary. Uh, here's the hard numbers, 954 detached homes sold out of 1,053 that were listed. And, um, and to put that into perspective, a normal market, and I mean, this is kind of crazy to say this now when you look at 90% of the properties listed sold, but a normal market, you would see about 30 to 40% of the houses listed sold. And, uh, and that might seem low for, for when you think, well, that's kind of a, that's kind of a bad market, isn't it? If only 30 or 40 sell. No, that's not. That's actually a very healthy, normal market. That's when supply and demand are fairly equal. And at, at, at 30, 40% uh, absorption rate, you would see modest increases in prices, which would be really what would be a healthy place to be. It's, it's never wonderful when the market is too out of balance, but, uh, but that's just how these markets work. It is what it is. It's supply and demand, obviously. So there we're back to 25 days on average on the market. Um, but I can tell you with certainty, any property right now in the Calgary and surrounding area that is priced well is selling within one to three days of it going on the market. Um, some of them even that aren't priced well are sitting a little longer and, uh, and some of those are even still selling, but, uh, but it is interesting to, uh, to witness this. Now, here's my, uh, the chart that I look at a lot is market distribution. And you can see how this 600 to $700,000 price range is now 25.49% of our market. And it wasn't that long ago that it was the five to 600, but that's now only 18% of the market. And you can see how that's just uh, now becoming a thing of the past as well. You know, four to 500, 5% of the market. I mean, that's, it's getting to the point where there won't be detached homes, you know, under 500,000 in Calgary anymore. And what's also amazing to me is uh, when you come over here to a million to a million five, that's now 8.71% of the market. And um, during COVID, that was sitting at about 2%. So um, a lot of properties are being sold in that range. And so um, we're seeing, of course, a lot of people moving up. There's a lot of people that have a home now that maybe is worth six to $700,000. They'd like to move into something a little nicer, maybe a little bigger, you know, whatever the case might be. And, um, you know, they go into a little bit of a higher price range and uh and we're seeing a lot of that it's actually happening and um you know we had a lot of talk about interest rates for a long time but uh interest rates don't seem to be affecting us too much but i can tell you this um it's very very likely that interest rates are going to drop later this year and we already have a really strong market with the interest rates where they are now uh that could actually add a little fuel to the fire even just having low rates so um Keep that in the back of your mind because it might be a really good time to buy. And, um, uh, I, you know, you might want to look at your buying plans uh, sooner than later. All right. So here's our semi-detached. No surprise there. 86.04% uh, absorption rate. Uh, we hit a benchmark price for the month of February of 639100 Of course, that's also a record there as well. 
Year to date, we're at 632 for January and February. And, uh, and you can see that that is also a new record uh, when you consider where we came from. It's actually hard to believe that in 2020, we were at $389,000 for a benchmark price on something uh, semi-detached. And now we're sitting at uh, you know 632 year to date. That is remarkable. 191 out of 222 have sold. 26 days on the market. Here is your market distribution. This is never a surprise. Five to six hundred thousand dollars is the sweet spot. So for all the buyers that are not in that price range of six to seven, this is the next best thing, and that's where people tend to look for these. And and you, if you notice what builders are building, they're building a lot of these semi-detached properties. They're they're less expensive to build, and they keep the price down. Uh, they don't have condo fees, so it's it's really what I would say the next best thing to having a detached home. Uh, that being said, if you go over here into this 800 to 899 range, which is the infill market, you can see that's a pretty strong area uh, where people are buying infills in the inner city in that 800 to 900,000 range. But even here, wow, 7.4% of the market, uh, a million to a million five for semi-detached properties that are in the luxury market. And, um, and that, again, is also remarkable that uh, that people are very, very comfortable with these kind of properties. Um, I, I can tell you, even in the inner city, you can get a little more square footage and they do an amazing job at some of these luxury properties. And I've been involved in quite a few sales of those. And so I um, I can see where that's just not going to change. And, um, and there's just a high demand at all price points overall on these semi-detached properties. Now the townhouse market, I just can't even make sense of this at all. It, it just, you know, I, I get it. I mean, it's the price point. It's, it's a very affordable price point for most people. It's, uh, it's you know, because townhouses or, or row houses that they also refer them to, you know, you have your own doors. Some of them have your garages, you have your basements. So, you know, they're in that affordable price range, but they're the, I guess, the next best thing to semi-detached or, or a detached home. And you can tell by here, 114% absorption rate. I mean, literally everything that was coming on the market was selling. And uh, we hit $436,500 as a benchmark price for these townhouses. And uh, of course, that is another record. That's 2.37% increase from January of 24. But wow, 18.81%. I mean, that's almost a 20% increase in prices. I mean, with that kind of absorption rate, there's, there's, like the demand is just so high. It's, it's absolutely insane to see these numbers. Year to date, you know, we're at 431, which is pretty close to the 436. So that's pretty amazing. 352 out of 307. So all the inventory that came on the market, including what we did have, you know, got bought up. So um, it's just like, there's just nothing that's not selling. Um, and of course you can see here the price point, the real sweet spot, again, one step down, 400 to $500,000. It more or less drops off a cliff once you go to five to six, but that's where, that's where the buyers are, 39% of the market uh, on these properties. So. If you have one to sell, you're going to do really well. Uh, and believe me, you're going to want someone that knows what they're doing to navigate multiple offers if you want to maximize your sale price. There's a real strategy with that. I've been involved in so many of them now. I've definitely learned a thing or two. So if you want some advice on that, uh, just reach out to me and, um, and I'll give you a little bit of an idea of some of the things that are available to you as a home seller to deal with that. And on the flip side, you know, when you're a buyer, it's kind of a vulnerable position that you have to compete. And, you know, how do you get your offer accepted? Well, there's a lot of strategies around that too. And so if you're a buyer, definitely reach out to me and, uh, and I'll go over some of the, the, uh, the ways that we've been successful at getting offers accepted in this crazy environment. Now, the last are apartment condos. Uh, absolutely amazing as well. 82% absorption rate, considering that, uh, wow, well, before just even right around COVID, we were at sitting at about 15% absorption rate. I mean, uh, the tables are really turned and we hit a benchmark price of 329,600 uh, for the month of February. And that is up 1.73% month over month and a whopping 17%. So uh, for people who want to get into the market, maybe you're a first time buyer, maybe you're an investor, obviously these condos are attractive because they're affordable and they're affordable for renters as well. Um, so if you're looking to rent, it's just that, uh, you know, this just makes it possible. 
So I can see why these are going to be a demand for a lot of different types of people. Um, you can see the year to date, we're at 326,000. And that, of course, is a new record. And I always talk about this when you think, when you look at uh, where we peaked in 2015 at 292, we've now obviously surpassed that. And look at all those years here where it was a lot of pain and that market was just going down and down and down and down. And then all of a sudden, you know, within four years, you know, we're right back up and, and uh, surpassed where we were. Five years of pain, four years of gain. Uh, very interesting situation. Anyway, so these numbers are incredible. Uh, bottom line is what I said earlier, it's high demand, it's low supply. It's probably not going to uh, stop anytime soon. I'm praying for a little bit more inventory, but uh, there's definitely, uh, you got to have a good strategy in this kind of a market, whether you're a seller or whether you're a buyer. Um, clearly, if you're selling, you have to maximize your price because you're buying again and you got to be able to maximize uh, your sale price because you might have to pay a little more for the property that you're buying. So feel free, as always, to reach out to me with questions, concerns. Um, I, I'm very comfortable answering people's questions with no strings attached. Um, I'm in the business of just helping people. Some people end up choosing me to help them out. Some people don't, but, uh, but I'm totally okay with you just reaching out for questions and getting a, uh, an idea of some strategy on how you would like to approach the market. So hopefully this has been helpful and uh, definitely uh, watch for the next one that comes out next month.